Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to go straight away making the reading. So the first card which represents the topic for Aquarius week, this is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, this is going to be uh, the uh, Chariot card. Afterwards it is the positive aspect of the week, we do have the Page of Pentacles, and then the last one which stands for the guidance that Saro is offering to you guys. Uh, we do have the Six of Cups, so quite of a, a positive week, it is what expects you or what you can expect here in uh, July 15th to July 21st. So we do have once again the cards Nine of Cups, which is the topic, followed by the uh, Chariot card, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, it's going to be the Page of Pentacles, which regards to the um, positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the um, Six of Wands, which is the uh, Guidance. So it seems that you're going to be quite pleasantly surprised by a person that you do already know, okay? And this surprise could be an, an emotional divulging, right? Like they are going to divulge their true emotions towards you, so that could be a friend who expresses their love towards you, and I mean a uh, intimate love out there okay or it could be as well let's say a, a co-worker who is ready to help you deal with whatever problems you do have into your career uh, the th the thing is that this this person the page of pentacles which is the positivity into this week it does look like that it is quite devoted on you uh with uh, with these cards but all that all it comes to that do you want that person or do you not want that person? Because with the chariot in a second place, it seems that you're gonna find it a bit premature to place your hopes into this page of pentacles. But let's, ne let's not get ahead of ourselves and uh, let's scrutinize the reading card by card. So we do have the Nine of Cups as a topic. Everybody knows that the, that the Nine of Cups is a very, very positive card. Many tarot readings are saying that this card is the wish fulfillment, you know, and uh, it usually is. Well, to a certain extent, I would say. Now, the card does express a severe progress in, in a direction that one or you Aquarius are fighting for. So, let's say you're fighting for a certain person that you want to be with. Well, you're going to make a severe progress into that direction where you almost got it, all right? Or you even got it. 
like you got your promotion, you got your raise, or you just got enforced your idea upon someone and now everybody is working for it. The thing, however, with the Nine of Cups is that this progress or this state of, of triumph is rather short-lived should you not make whatever it's necessary to secure that progress and to traverse it into a long-term um, long term productivity or long-term benefit or your or long-term happiness so in other words do not take this progress for granted all right but keep on doing what you're doing or keep on sustaining this um, this situation of a great gains Needless to say that the week itself is going to be, how can I describe it, full of sensual joy and, and, and kind of like an emotional fulfillment as well. It's, you know, it's, I, it seems that you're going to be pretty, pretty happy where you're finding yourself at throughout the week. The accompanied card here, it is the Emperor. <clears throat> the formation, it is a, it is a passive enemy, excuse me. So, uh, well, with the Emperor here, it's... Um, it looks like that the whole aspect of this undertaking is not going to be that uh, difficult. As a matter of fact, it's going to be a piece of cake for you, uh, for what it seems. Uh, you will not have to think too much what could go wrong, because for what it seems with these couple of cards, you did your homework quite well, and uh, you're pretty much prepared for any kind of unexpected circumstances that may arise from the uh, endeavor itself. The whole point of these uh, of these couple of cards here it is that from now on is going to be an easy job. You did already the hard work, okay? And it's going to be a shame if you drop off your guard or you get uh, or you take this progress for granted and do not keep up with the uh, necessity to secure it in any way you can. So the next card, it's about the challenges and that will be uh, the chariot card. So it is tightly related to the page of uh, pentacles and uh, the chariot points that many of the aspects of this situation are going to seem premature or rather like many of the um, the actions that you are that you will have to make in order to sustain this situation. Uh, are gonna seem imma immature or uh, premature, excuse me, premature and way out of their timing. Okay. Additionally to that, um, the chariot here point that you may lack drive or you may lack how can I place it energy to keep on uh, to keep on going throughout the week because uh, this this week you are to. Um, reach a significant progress you know you may think well great now i did a ha I, I really toiled a lot so i may have a uh, a time to rest all right so you chase that person you want to be with so much and for so long that finally when they are agreed to be with you you say well now the hardship is over and i can do whatever i want well that's not the case here okay the chariot points to singularity and as a challenging card you need to challenge your singularity and allow to be in a cooperation with uh with someone else and to empathize with someone else as well okay so kind of like a uh, try to feel their not like their pain but their needs because this someone else like i said with the page is very very devoted to you to your agenda to your cumulative agenda the accompanied card is going to be the five of swords the combination here it is a passive neutrals that we do have a, a very awkward card to be honest and uh, the chariot with the five of swords it usually speak for speaks for um a contingency plan it's uh, not even a contingency plan but more like a if it doesn't happen uh you know i lose far less than the other side of the matter okay so that kind of keeps you um in a state of peace knowing that the other person will not allow the situation to deteriorate because they have to lose more than you can lose and that may um place a um, how, how how do i des describe it mm. 
a fallacious impression, you know, that's like I said, you are um, you you are already victorious. You are going there, but you are not quite there yet. Okay. And for that reason, uh, you should keep on exerting your influence, your pressure, you know, and keep up with with the performance. For example, the person that you have chased, they finally decided to uh, be together with you. Well, that doesn't mean that you have to chase them right now, because like I said, you know, the hardship is over, but you need to maintain, you know, your activity, your, your engagement with them. Do not, for example, leave them to be initiative all the time, but kind of like separate the, the initiative one day they can be initiative the other day you can be the initiative and etc etc just show that you do have interest to proceed with that thing further uh, okay so the next card is going to be about the uh, the positivity and that is the page of pentacles a person here like I said, who is well devoted to your agenda or to your cumulative agenda. As a matter of fact, that could be your suitor, which up until this moment, it's a friend of yours. And now they are divulging their emotions, which completely fits with the narrative here, guys, because let's say you're single and you, I cannot say desperately, but you so much want to be in a relationship and you never saw the page in such a light. All right. You just you find them handsome there is a chem there is a chemistry but you don't want to risk your friendship uh unless you know that they do have something more than just a friendship towards you well that's your lucky week i guess because the page in a relationship means exactly that um in most of the cases that someone that you already know that you are good friends with you know uh, have more profound ideas and more deep feelings than just a friendship towards you they are devoted in you okay because the page is all about devotion uh but the best thing about the page is that this person very well found the um the full value of you what i mean uh with this is that they are very sure that they're not wasting their time either into business partnership for example and they are ready to invest in it because they do found out or kind of like they do decided that you do worth the hassle okay they you definitely worth the investment either materially wise or either uh, emotionally wise the accompanied card is going to be the six of cups and the things are getting even better especially if we're talking about relationships uh the formation is the passive uh, friends here and with the six of cups we definitely talk about emotional and physical attraction which could be summarized around chemistry and it's it's just you are a i cannot say a perfect match but i could say that the match is enough in between you two to establish a rock solid foundation and to go from there one thing i want to warn you here no secrets it is just say whatever you have to say whatever they don't know about your past should you decide to take advantage of this uh, new opportunity but definitely with this person you are going to experience a lot of pleasure throughout this uh, week and that pleasure may not be only you know sexual pleasure it could be pleasure of a, a well struck deal it could be the pleasure of working together and etc etc and especially if it is about working together uh, you are you have a lot of creative work to do and uh, it seems that whatever you are gonna work upon is going to be something that you really really like and uh, the guidance here it's uh, the six of uh, wands so the guidance tells you only one thing give yourself to it completely do not resist to experience this extraordinary experience i don't know how to say it other, uh, otherwise because here the experience the word experience takes two different meanings okay so yeah do not resist to be in this peak of experience through which you are going to receive recognition rewards you know your confidence is going to be boosted as well and uh, finally you will have that feeling that you have reached a, a significant milestone um, in your life and i'm not talking only about career or relationship but in life uh, in general but the six the six of wands is also a card solidifying the statement that 
the uh, ultimate job or the final achievement is far from done. I mean, you do have still what to improve. You do have still what, uh, a, a, a directions to progress into. And the accompanied card here is going to be the temperance, the formation. It is a active supporters. So uh, these couple of cards are saying that there will be some chores as well that you will have to do, which you should not restrain yourself from doing, all right? Everything comes with the chores, okay? If that is a lucrative business um, business endeavor, for example, it's gonna have a chores. If that is a, um, a very promising relationship, it's gonna have a chores as well that you will have to uh, do in there or you will have to fulfill which is accurate for the both sides, for in between you and the page. And as long as the page sees your devotion in it, either business or, uh, or relationship-wise, uh, they will have no problem to do their part of the chores and you will have to do your part of the chores as well. If you do start to slack, there won't be any compromise about it and they will slack as well. And obviously, needless to say, the whole thing is gonna fall into ruin. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 15th to July 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.